Guys, what is going on? Welcome to a weekly review for this past week's edition of NXT. We're going to take a look at the July 12th edition of NXT this week as we are continuing on the road to the third annual NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, which will of course be airing and emanating live from the Barclays Center the night before SummerSlam on August the 19th. So the show continued um, laying the groundwork for what we will be seeing at TakeOver Brooklyn. Overall, I thought it was a, a solid show. Not the best edition of NXT, but I thought it was solid enough. Um, like I said, it being one hour certainly helps. It's easier to get through compared to the three hours or even two hours of Raw and SmackDown. So out of all, you know, out of everything that we got on this show, we're going to break it down and I give you my full thoughts and opinions like I always do. Before that, please remember to click my like and subscribe button for more video content that will come soon to this channel. You can always be on the lookout for that. And follow me on Twitter, at DanielGaza412. So got all that out of the way, let's take a look at NXT. The, like I said, the July 12th edition. So we kick things off with in-ring action. It was Aleister Black taking on the debut, um, the debuting Bobby Fish. Not really too familiar with his work, so if you guys know a lot about him, if you're fans of him, uh, let me know down in the comments section, but... This is really my first look at what he was able to do in the ring. And uh, I have to say, him and Aleister Black, they had a good, hard-hitting match. A nice debut for Bobby Fish and Aleister Black, you know. I just love his poise and his control inside the ring, just the way he really doesn't let too much get to him. And, you know, he's just... I see big things for Aleister Black down the line in NXT, and I definitely keep saying this. He will be a future NXT champion. Uh, everything from his entrance to his look to just his psychology in the ring, he gets it. Like I said, these two with the, the punches and the kicks, they weren't holding anything back. Uh, towards the end of the match, you know, as Alex Aleister um, hit it, hit these, you know, nice looking hit. I love his roundhouse kicks. You know, when he makes those impacts, he and his, his spinning back fists, they, they look very nice as well. And they laid into the flesh of Bobby Fish. Um, and he hit a running knee. Uh, Bobby Fish did to the, um, Bobby Fish got hit by a running knee to his face by Aleister Black. And then Black was able to hit the Black Mass kick for the win. So Aleister Black continues to remain undefeated on NXT. So despite losing, I thought Bobby Fish put up a good fight in his debut here on NXT. Didn't have a problem with the match. Thought it was a solid match. And um, look forward to seeing where things are headed for Aleister Black as we continue on the road to NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3. We had a backstage segment with Hideo Itami and Cassius Ono continuing to play up the pent-up frustrations that Itami has faced really in his, in his entire run in NXT. You know, he, he suffered injury and defeat at the hands of the NXT champion Bobby Roode. So I like how they're tying this all together. Real-life issues, you know, with Hideo. I'm sure he's obviously really frustrated in real life due to the fact that his NXT career just never really could get off the ground. And I think, you know, the eventual turn that we see coming on Cassius Ono will be, um, will be something fun to watch out for. So to continue to play up this uh, animosity between these two. We had a May Young Classic qualifier. Uh, not really too much to this match. Uh, Vanessa Bourne defeated Jamie Hatchney. Hatchie, hope I got that right. Uh, Bourne hit a spin outside slam for the win. So as you all have heard, uh, the May Young Classic will be, um, will be airing episodes on demand on the WWE Network, I believe the Monday after SummerSlam, and then the following Monday, I believe the first four episodes, and then the following four episodes, and then the finale um, will be airing live, I believe, after the SmackDown tapings on September 12th in Las Vegas, Nevada. So I, I really look forward to the uh, May Young Classic. was a huge fan of the Cruiserweight Classic, and I know... You know, they've been talking about doing a women's tournament for quite a while now. I was listening to JR's podcast with uh, special guests Lita and Medusa. Check out um, the Ross Report if you're looking for a great wrestling podcast to listen to. Um, but he had them both on, and they were talking about you know the different women that are going to be in this tournament, all different types of backgrounds that we can look forward to. This is going to be something fun. And like I said, uh, the Cruiserweight Classic was fun. The UK tournament was fun as well. Can't forget that. So hopefully, um, I have a feeling this will deliver due to it being 
produced by the same people that put on those two tournaments. Uh, the reputation certainly precedes them. So look forward to seeing the first ever May Young Classic. And then we had, um, well, first we had Sanity attack Drew McIntyre in the backstage parking lot, and then this led to William Regal talking to champion Bobby Roo, talking about plans for um, who will be next in line to face the NXT champion at TakeOver Brooklyn. And Regal laid down the, the stipulation that it'll be the undefeated Drew McIntyre versus the undefeated um, Killian Dane. And this match will take place next week on NXT to determine the number one contender to face um, Bobby Roode at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3. So, see how that match goes. Different matchup, fresh matchup. We'll see how Killian Dane does. I've been impressed by him so far. Um, just see he's got a real physical, menacing, imposing look. Uh, he just looks like a dude that can hurt people. Uh, so we'll see how he fares against uh, Drew McIntyre. Should be, uh, like I said, an interesting matchup on paper. Certainly a fresh matchup. And then we had Johnny Gargano make his uh, long-awaited return to NXT ever since, um, hard to believe it's been almost, I believe, two months ago. You may, I believe it was on the 20th at NXT TakeOver Chicago. We all remember what happened that night. Um... And his best friend, Tommaso Ciampa, literally turned and stabbed him in the back and powerbombed, you know, threw him off those, um, off the stage onto those tables. And uh, it's a shame that we're not going to be getting this feud because I know we'd be getting a match and a long, long drawn out feud between these two. But we're going to have to wait due to Tommaso Ciampa being out of action probably until March. So at least the comfort in, in, in all of this is knowing that. We will see these two feud and fight. We're just going to have to wait till NXT TakeOver New Orleans for WrestleMania. Hopefully. I'm assuming that's when we probably get the first match between these two. Um, but Johnny came back out. He cut a nice, you know, short, sweet, heartfelt promo talking about you know, how he never saw the portrayal coming, how he said he's going to move on. He's looking forward to the future, and he needs to get back into the ring and do what he loves best. And he said he needs to be a TakeOver Brooklyn he needs to get back to being Johnny Gargano. And more importantly, he needs to get back to being Johnny Wrestling. I like promos like these. I can tell it's obviously not scripted word for word like it is on the main roster. You just let him go out there. Let him say the words that need to be said and the, the amount of time that he needs. You don't need to make this 20, 30 minutes. It was short. It was sweet. It got to the point and it got Johnny, you know, focused on a goal. I want to compete at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. And... I know the card's out there, the spoilers are out there. I won't get into that, but uh, I look forward to seeing who his opponent will be at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. We then get into our main event. The NXT Tag Team titles were on the line here. The Authors of Pain versus Heavy, heavy Machinery. And to be honest, I thought the match was just okay. Uh, I thought it just kind of ended, and I uh, would have liked to have seen these two teams go at it for a little bit longer. But obviously, um, I don't know, there's just something off about the match. For me, I, I just thought it was okay. I thought it would have been a better match. Um, not to say the heavy machinery didn't you know, have its moments, but, you know, Authors of Pain were really able to wear down and tear down Tucker Knight until he was eventually able to get the, the tag to Dozovich. He was going in there with a full, a full head of steam, tossing around Razor with the overhead belly-to-back suplex. Um... And Dozovich body slammed Akum and then uh, slammed Tucker Knight onto Akum. And he, Akum was able to kick out at two. And then Heavy Machinery, they were attempting to put their finisher into action, but Razor was able to cut it off. Uh, and the authors of Pain were able to hit the last chapter on Dozovich for the win. So just an okay match. Thought it would have been better. Um, but it looks like we have our next direction for who will be challenging the authors of Pain at TakeOver Brooklyn. Sanity comes out, they stand on the ring, and pages from Ellering's Book of Dominance fall from the sky. So obviously this is teasing a showdown between Sanity versus the Authors of Pain, which is something that I am intrigued in seeing. Um, huge fan of Sanity, except Authors of Pain. I thought they've had a nice run as tag team champions, really being built up since their debuts as unstoppable monsters, and they continue to get better and better in the ring. So 
I'm intrigued by a showdown between them and Sanity at TakeOver Brooklyn. And that's how we go off the air here. Overall, a solid to decent edition of NXT. Uh, if I had to give a grade for this week's edition, I'd go C. I'm going with a C show this week. Um, so that's my thoughts and opinions on NXT, guys. Let me know what you thought of the July 12th edition of NXT. Leave those comments down below in the comments section after this video is uploaded. And I want to say thank you all for watching this video. And be sure to, like I said, check out this channel for more video content coming soon. And I will be back up here whenever that may be. So until then, guys, thanks for watching.